Um, I think, you know, trying all these different immunotherapy strategies are going to really be uh, the next frontier. Uh, I think that, you know, because AL is, tends to be a lower tumor burden a disease than multiple myeloma, um, you could imagine that whether it's a bispecific or a CAR-T, um, you might be able to cure these patients. I mean, I, we don't know long-term whether a small fraction of patients um, with multiple myeloma getting these therapies, maybe you know, they're gonna have really, really long-term um, good outcomes, uh, especially if we move it earlier to earlier line therapy, but in the AL space, they can be exquisitely uh, responsive to different therapies. So it's gonna be very exciting to sort of carefully apply these strategies because again, you know, CRS and somebody who has um, very significant cardiac involvement is kind of a non-starter there. And that gets us back to the beginning where early diagnosis is key because we really can't afford to have patients present as sick as they can sometimes present. So the next thing too, which is very interesting, there are two exciting, interesting things. One is imaging uh, amyloid specifically, so different um, peptides that bind to the amyloid so you can actually directly localize where the amyloid is. And then the other very exciting um, strategy, two clinical or two agents uh, in the AL space. Uh, one is the, the neo do one and the other is the Calum-101. Um, both of those are antibodies that are directly targeted to the amyloid fibril itself. Uh, and the hope is that that is going to help um, resorb the amyloid more quickly and get organ responses more quickly and, and more of them. Um, so randomized trials, mostly in the advanced cardiac um, disease space, uh, so they can kind of really have a, a unequivocal readout of overall survival. I mean, those are the readouts there, but with patients that are very vulnerable and sick that really do have an unmet need because uh, high rates of early death, um, this would be an amazing uh, addition uh, if this works for these patients.